What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released iOS 11.1.1. In this video I wanted to run through everything that you need to know about the new release, run through some bug fixes and what's new along with some performance. So let's jump right into the video. So I have iOS 11.1.1 installed here on my silver iPhone 10. So let's jump right into the review. So the download actually was very, very small guys. As you guys can see, it was only about 54 megabytes here on my iPhone 10. And they actually did include a change log. Now the change log is mostly bug fixes, but they actually went ahead and let us know exactly what was changed. They said that this update actually fixes an issue with keyboard autocorrect. So if you guys have been hearing about this in the news, there was a huge issue where you typed in the letter I, it autocorrected to a bunch of almost random characters. So that is now fixed in this release. And they also fixed an issue where the Hey Siri did not work. Now I actually was not experiencing this issue on my iPhone 10, but it is good to see that that is fixed as well. Now, honestly, guys, these are the only real bug fixes that I've noticed. There's almost no outward facing changes, almost no other bug fixes I've noticed in this release. So that is why it is so, so, so small. So so definitely good to have those bug fixes included, but there's not much else to talk about in terms of features. Now, storage wise, before installing, I did have 26.81 gigabytes available on my 64 gigabyte iPhone 10. And after installing, I actually had about 26.92. So 26.92 versus 26.81. I did gain a little bit of storage, which is always nice to see when installing updates. Now, performance wise, guys, I really haven't noticed anything too different from iOS 11.1 on my iPhone 10. Still works just as smoothly, guys. All the gestures work great, really, really easy to use. 3D Touch still works great, nothing wrong there. So really nothing too different in terms of the outward facing stability and use of the device. I have heard that people on the iPhone 10 were still experiencing the iOS 11 battery drain, not as badly as on the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 8, but that should get a little bit better with this update. And even though they didn't actually state a lot of bug fixes, I'm sure that this will just be a little bit more smooth, a little bit more free of bugs. So that's always a good thing. Battery life fixes and bug fixes are always implemented with further iOS 11 releases. So that's always good. Now I did do a Geekbench to actually test the real performance of the device. Now, before installing iOS 11.1.1, I did have a single core score of 4222 and a multi-core score of 10273. Now, after installing, I had a single core score of 4218 and a multi-core score of 10210. So 4218 versus 4222, I actually lost a little bit there. And 10273 versus 10210, so I did lose a little bit there as well. So I lost a very, very little bit of performance in Geekbench, but there is a margin of error, so not too noticeable there. It really does feel like the same device here guys really nothing too different there nothing to worry about but anyway hopefully you guys enjoy this update just a quick little video on it if you do have any comments or concerns go ahead and leave a comment on this video and definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it also subscribe so you don't miss any more of my content here on youtube i will list my social networking links down there in the description like my twitter facebook google plus and all my social media links and again thank you guys for watching this was the latest on ios 11.1.1 and i'll catch you guys in the next update peace